How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom. We're seated here at the drafting table of cartoonist Drew Sheneman, and we are talking about furloughs, state worker furloughs. Uh, Governor John Corzine has a plan for unpaid furloughs for state workers. What he wants, a 12 days in the coming year, right? Well, he got two so far. He's got two approved, and in the course of getting two approved, four people got arrested protesting. Uh, so, I mean, he's going to have to go back and get the additional days approved. Now, your cartoon today, what's up? You have people on the unemployment line here. No sympathy. You got no love for the state workers in there. Well, I mean, two-day furlough is better than a 365-day furlough. Um, they're fighting it. They're fighting it, but, I mean, it, the economic conditions right now, the furloughs are happening across a broad range of industries, as you well know, uh, media companies, newspaper companies, automakers. It, so you think they're a bunch of whiners? I wouldn't exactly call them whiners. I mean, you came close <laughs> today. <laughs> well, I just... It's more about you have to realize the situation that the state and the country is in right now. Saying these guys are out of touch with the, the average Joe on the other side. A little country. bit, and if you and if you read the story, you notice that the the four people who were arrested angrily protesting were all union heads. Uh, so I mean, the, civil disobedience. Civil disobedience, but I mean That's also. Not what Thoreau, Henry David Thoreau, had in mind. I don't. But it's their job to get out there in front of their people and make yeah. sure that they know that they're they're in opposition to this. But uh, unfortunately, they're just going to have to yeah. you know, deal with it, like you know a lot of people are. Speaking of furloughs. Well, what are you doing with your, uh, we're well, getting furloughs here at the Star Ledger, Yes, too, we are. Right? Uh, Ten days, Ten days uh, between April got and... Plans? Got plans? big plans? I heard well, a woman down by the lunch truck saying she's going to Alaska. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep it a little bit more economical. <laughs> uh, perhaps my wife and I will try and conceive another baby for sale on the black market. Or I'll spend the week collecting cans. Turn it into money. <laughs> Turn yes. your unpaid furlough into money. I'm going to try and monetize my furlough. You know... State workers and journalists are not the only ones no. facing hard times here. Another group that is having it really rough, drag queens. Oh, it's a bummer. I'll watch this video. <laughs> I can't help it. Sometimes, even when I'm not supposed to, I feel like working. Drag queens dwell in a world of glimmer and fantasy, but they're not immune to the reality of the recession. The festive mood at a recent gay entertainment convention in New York was underscored with fear and doubt. So paid events are going down. Um, you know, I did a uh, travel gigs are, you know, they're putting you in coach and... <laughs> I the fly coach. Poor Peppermint, the fly coach. <laughs> Tough when Peppermint has to fly coach. I guess the cost of body glitter is going up. We all need escapes. You know, we in the hustle and bustle of everything. How do you have a drag queen named Ed? Edward. That's not a drag queen. Edward. <laughs> Edward Taylor. Economy when it's really, really bad. You need to be there and just and relaxing and just having a good time. People are hosting parties, just not on the same scale they were before. Apparently, he's been furloughed. Yeah, instead of inviting 400 to close his friends, <laughs> that's the best use of the internet I've ever seen. So that's it. Drag uh, queens. Well, Tough I, times for drag queens. Peppermint's got to fly coach. That guy's down full, from full time to part time. Well, I mean, you know, we're all hurting. The, the recession comes up. People aren't throwing as many parties. The price of pancake makeup goes up. Uh, eyeliner, false lashes. Other topic today: the Port Authority has announced that the uh, World Trade Center development will no longer have the skyscraper be called the Freedom Tower. It's going to be one World Trade Center. Which is a better name? I think. Freedom. I heard a guy on the radio this morning saying, have we forgotten the lessons of 9-11 already? If we don't call it the Freedom Tower, have the, the terrorists won? Uh, I don't know. It, it, One World Trade Center seems like a better name. And, and so many of the uh, gestures that we took as a nation after 9-11 are falling by the wayside. The yellow ribbons are, are falling off the back of cars. I don't see those anymore. You can now get French fries instead of Freedom Fries. What's happening? Yeah. You know, and uh, our president implored us to go shopping after 9-11. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody's shopping anymore. Nobody told me to go shopping this weekend. Well, no one is shopping. That's no one, the right. Unless, uh, unless you go to a Walmart. Next thing you know, we're going to change uh, Newark Liberty back to Newark International Airport. Was, was it called Liberty? Did we change it after? We changed it after 9-11. It was Sharp James and Jim McGreevy, I believe, had a press conference. Two great American in a, patriots. In a fit of patriotism, added Liberty to the name of the airport. Does anybody call it Newark Liberty, <laughs> or is it just on we the side? No, we we just... When we type it, we always have to type Newark Liberty. So basically, we just spent money on change. signs. Port Authority is listening. Look, you ditch Freedom Tower. Get Liberty out of Newark Airport's name. I'm tired of that. I think Token gesture. I think you're, sympathize. you're, you're a terrorist sympathizer. <laughs> that wraps up Ledger Live for today. 
LedgerLive at StarLedger.com is the email address, and we want to hear from you. All right, Jersey, take it easy.